Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. We're finally back in town. Uh, if you were following my Instagram, you know I was in LA doing some secret stuff. We have the mini count that needs to get this new emote. It is not limited. It's not exclusive, I don't think. It doesn't look like it's exclusive. It doesn't look like it's limited, but we are 12 zero zero deaths let's get into this with the goblin cage now people are still torn whether it's good or it's bad between the archers and the dark goblin the dark goblin is so much more annoying and then i'm gonna go for the fireball goblin cage can defend stuff goblin barrel is gonna be annoying with the dark goblin as bait oh he gave me barbarians i feel very comfortable with this now i can defend the prince of the barbarians he has lightning and I have Fireball, so he doesn't have the Fireball to take care of the Barbarians. Looking like a kind of like a bad matchup for Manuel. I'm gonna ignore the archers on the right side. Kind of tank that archer there. Maybe go for the Dark Goblin. Oh dear. I'm, I'm keeping that Dark Goblin alive. I want him alive. And then we're gonna... It doesn't look like he's got anything for the Dark Goblin, so... Ooh! He had to use Ewas on that. I could do Goblin Cage, but I'm gonna do Baby Dragon. Let the Ice Spirit connect. I don't want I don't want my Baby Dragon frozen. Because it's gonna be more value when it gets to the tower. I do want to kind of fireball it. Why not? I have Goblin Cage to defend against everything. Everything! He doesn't even know I have the Goblin Cage yet. Actually, he, he's looked through his cards. He knows which one that he has and which ones that I have. I'm gonna go for the Musketeers in the back. Gotta take it easy. And he will have the Prince. I gotta be careful with that. Yup. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, everything's melting. Where'd my Barbarians go? I do know that he doesn't have anything for my Goblin Barrel or my Dirt Goblins. He's got you as it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh dear. Uh. Not a giant skeleton though. I actually have to take care of it. Oh, this is the perfect time to use the, the cage to absorb the ice spirit. And to kind of just, you know, do stuff with the must with the electro wizard. Everything's fine. Oh my goodness, lightning. He's gonna be down a lot of elixir. Ooh, fireball value on that, that's gonna be nice. He doesn't have the electro wizard yet. He's down a bit. We're gonna slowly fireball him out, I guess. Put my musketeer a little bit higher. And we're gonna wait for it. There we go. Barbarians are safe from the bomb. Picks up the prince. Maybe I'll even fireball those rascal girls. That's a new Valkyrie I haven't seen. I'm not worried about the Valkyrie. He can lightning my Dark Goblin if he wants. No hits on the tower from the Valkyrie, but the rascal boy gets one hit. I can deal with that. Let's just cycle to my Goblin Barrel and end his pain. <laughs> He'll have the Electro Wizard for that. Well, that's fine. And fireball, good game, victory. 13-0 in this. There's a legendary. Oh, yeah, it's my mini account. Legendaries are actually really good. Nice. Is that a level 2 Ram Rider? Yes. I'm here for that emote. Uh, I like the goblin cage. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna take rocket and give him lightning so he, my goblin cage can lightning rod it. If I take the lava hound, I can pull the giant with the goblin cage. It's not so crazy with the lava hound. And then let's go for the Valkyrie. The Dark Prince did just get buffed, though, so that could have been a good choice, too. Oh! Electro Dragon, Clone, Lava Hound, it's over. There's no way I, I should rocket a tower, I, there's no way I should put down a goblin cage. So, we're just gonna rush with the E-Barbs. It's not gonna be crazy good, but it's gonna be alright. He will have lightning for my E-Drag. And then we'll pull the giant there. Oh, bats. Alright. Yep, those bats are gonna deal a lot of damage. That's fine. I've got skeletons and e-barbs. We're gonna recover from this, and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. I just start off with a bad rotation, no big deal, and I, I was forced to play e-barbs. We're gonna go in the Lava Hound now. We have Lava Hound, we have Electro Dragon, we have the Clone. There is no way that's enough. Take that out there. Goodness, I hate how the witch spawns 
those things. All right, fine. We're, we're just gonna we're just gonna go lava how nuts on this. Oh man, skeleton barrel's gonna defend against that. Wow, he defended with skeleton barrel and spear goblins. Oh, that's miserable. <laughs> wow, that didn't count. We got hard countered, so it's still zero. Losses. We're 13 0. Let's get into this. I'm gonna go for the ice golem because it can pull stuff into the other lane. It can kite stuff. I kind of want the minions because it's air. And then I'm gonna take the snowball because it can kill the spear goblins. And then I'm gonna go for the electro dragon because it can take care of the bats. So far, so good. I've got a full blue deck. It's looking very solid. Maybe I'll do an ice golem in the back. He's doing a P.E.K.K.A. Perfect. I have the ice golem to cut the P.E.K.K.A. in the next rotation. In the meantime, we're just gonna take it easy. Go for a bomber in the back. Uh, if he has any crazy spells, then he could- if he has lightning, that's gonna wreck my bomber and my magic archer. But, I have bro recruits to take care of it all. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, my magic archer is destroying everything! That's it, we go all in. Minions, everything. Does he have spear goblins? He does have spear goblins at this point, but do I need to use it? Oh, magic archer! He shouldn't have done that right on top. Uh, Magic Archer's taking care of it. Oh, that's beautiful. We really took out a tower. Wait for it. Right into range. Magic Archer range. And then the Bomber did get a range buff a few months ago, so... We're, we're gonna use it to get a couple shots and tank the King Tower while the Magic Archer does his thing. Okay. He's got the Inferno Dragon in the back. Uh, he gave me a roll of recruits for P.E.K.K.A. That's dangerous for him. I have Electro Dragon to take care of his Inferno Dragon. I don't think I really need it right now. Let's, do, let's stagger the minions to kind of take care of the Inferno Dragon, because that Magic Archer is by himself right now. And then we go for the Snowball, takes care of the bats, takes care of the, everything. Every, everything wins, which limited emotionally flex. <laughs> I'm going for the two crown, we're going for the bomber on the other side. Actually, does he want to ignore my wall breakers? Let's see. That's, that's 840 damage or something like that if you ignore it. Oh wait, the King Tower is activated, only one gets hit. Alright. I don't really have any big pushes. My ice golem's my my tanker. So let's try and end it quick. Going for the snowball. Bum 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 bum. And we're 14 0. 25,000 gold. That's a lot for my mini, but really, I need that emote. Let's go for the fireball. It's more versatile. If he has musketeers, he can take care of minion horde, take care of so many more things. He has arrows, and I have fireball. I can counter his lava pups. I'm gonna take Mega Knight. Mega Knight's a little bit harder if you don't have the right cards. Definitely gonna take Executioner to take care of his lava hound. I'm gonna let it decide for me. I love the goblin cage, but I want fate to decide my destiny, and it picked the goblin cage for me. This is my fate now. He gave me mirror zap. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be good. Mirror zap on the lava pups. That's beautiful. Yay. I have Dark Goblin, he has Princess, the world is balanced. He's, go he's going in for the Lava Hound. Alright, then I'm going in for a Mirrored Executioner. <laughs> Maybe a Dark Goblin too. He's got arrows for my Dark Goblin, so I gotta be careful with that. Maybe I'll protect my Executioner a little bit. There's the arrows. The Prince did a pretty good job of protecting against everything. Level 10 Executioner's clutch. One swing, takes out the Wizard. Level 10... Executioner for the win. I only have Fireball and Zap. Oh dear. If I just did that one second later, just one second later, I wouldn't have had to use my Goblin Cage. Nah, can't, no, mm, dang it. I'm just gonna Fireball that Princess then. Ooh, Mirror Fireball would have killed that Wizard. Five for five. But I never use Mirror, so I completely forgot about that interaction. If he goes for the Lava Hunt, I have Zap, I have Dark Goblin, it's it's beautiful. It really is. This time I'm just gonna go for a really big ground push. He's not gonna really have much with this. He's doomed! He's doomed! Maybe a Dark Goblin there. Maybe I'll mirror my dirt. Nope, I'm going in for the Mega Knight. That's gonna be so good. He, he has clone. Nah, I'm good. Dark Goblin's still alive, picking it up. Okay, there we go. He's gonna be doomed though. I'm going in for the Mega Knight. Mega Knight on Mega Knight action. Double jumps on the wizard. Oh my goodness. I love this. We're just putting a, a BM Goblin cage. We're doing it. 
It made it through. The goblin cage is gonna wake up soon. I love this. There's the goblin brawler. He's gonna get he's gonna get it. Work it. There we go. The goblin brawler wins the game. Fate decided which one I should get, and it decided I needed the goblin cage to win 15. Zero. Oh, well, that's a nice emote. Finally. Alright, we gotta flex. Alright, hope you guys know this video. Obviously, this challenge is already over by the time you watch it, but Goblin Cage, he's alright. Thanks for watching.